I'm here with the big debut, uh, the big CD release party of Big Baby. Hello, Demika Dillon. How are you doing, I'm sweetie? Good, Neil. How are you? Uh, baby, I tell you, better sitting here with you now. You know what? You're brightening up a day. You're going to brighten up a whole lot of other people's, not only ears, but uh, collective mentality. You know what? That's what I love about you, baby. You lift people's spirits. Is it because you have been down so far and this road has been so long? Rough. <laughs> long, down, and rough. So music is my, out, my way of venting and, you know, feeling good and making others feel good. Baby, I, it's the energy that you put even into a ballad because you've lived it. It shows your life. And speaking of that life, where did it start? And where did your interest in music begin? Well, I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. I started singing when I was seven years old in church. Doesn't everybody? Well, yeah, of See, course. That's what. That's the root of it. Church. <laughs> and I haven't. And I still do today sing at church. Um, I discovered that I could really sing when I was about 12. My mama told me I thought I was the stuff when I turned 12. <laughs> when I discovered I could sing, when people started asking, can she sing in my community group? And mom was like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. But you can watch my baby and bring my baby straight home. Uh, so it started in church. Mama, grandmama, granddaddy. Not only was it the appreciation of the family and the love of God, but you had a real connection with everything around you, too, even as a kid. Yeah. That's that good old-fashioned rearing. <laughs> I heard that. You know, mama didn't play. You gonna do this, do that, do what I say do, and you, when you get grown, you do your own thing. But right now, while you in my house, you gonna do what I say do. You gonna go to church, you gonna get your education. Why? Yeah, that's what's wrong with the world now. There are not enough uh, mamas and grandmas that are and willing to take those kids uh, <laughs> by the hand and pull them straight into the church door. Right. Get them to understand what's going on. So we can see what's going on. Your life has been a real journey. Right. Uh, the good, the bad, the indifferent. Yeah. But you put it all and embody it all in your music. I sure do. I miss the music at the end of the day, that's all I have is music. That's how when I'm at my lowest, I turn to music. Even when I'm in the room by myself at my lowest, I sing or listen to music. It makes me feel better. And then when I perform, it helps me to convey that over to my crowd and make them feel something. So like I tell people all the time, when I perform, if I, I don't care if there's a million people in the audience, if I can touch one somebody and they want somebody to come and tell me I made them feel some type of way, I did my job. So. And you've been doing that job professionally. When did you make the first? I said feel good. Yeah. 
That's the thing about it. People who are really committed to this business, uh, you don't mark your progress in money because um, nobody wants to pay for what comes out of your heart. Right. Uh, that's one of the reasons that you know that you're dedicated. But when did you first become a professional? Except money for something you did for love. It was around 2000, maybe around 2001, 2002. Because I did my first, this actually is my second project. My first project was in 2006, right before I moved here. It did all right, but I think this is going to be better because I've grown too so much in these last eight years <laughs> that I've been in Memphis. Well, not only have you grown, but you're starting to write too. Not yes, just indeed. feel your thoughts, but you're putting them down and committing them. Yes, indeed. Uh, Big on writing, but you know, I because I feel like my writing is so simple. But you know, people say simple is the best way to go. So this is way too complex a world. We need to simplify. You're, you're right. Yeah, I, and I like doing old music. I want to. I like to make music like it used to be. Back throwback, in the day. baby. It's called throwback. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> Just say oh, you know it. That's, that's <laughs> all it is. And yes. that's the best of all worlds because we're moving way too fast. We're doing way too much. Uh, Y'all got to help me shine. Y'all ready? Y'all shine. Understanding each other as people. The old music did. It, it cared about evoking a reaction. Right. You know, and that's the thing about you and your audience. You provide half the energy in your show, the audience provides the other half. Right. When those two hands get together, you got Amen. something very, very powerful. Yes, dynamite. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yes, indeed. On a shock uh, fuse. <laughs> back in the day, honey, I'm trying to do music like they used to do it, where it was no, I ain't got nothing against auto tuning, no. but. Honey, back then you had to know how to sing. God o tune. <laughs> yeah, all right. It wasn't no not all this little tweaking to make no. you sound this. No, you had to know how to sing. Ain't no nothing covering you up. You had to know what you do, what you do. So no auto tuning on this. You, it's all real singing. Don't need to fix that in the mix, no, baby. Uh -uh. It was uh, pre-made. <laughs> and you were predestined not only to come from Shreveport to here. But for this to be a launching pad for a different phase of your career. The thing about Memphis, you know, it, it's kind of the melting pot. Mm -hmm. Kids came from the Ozarks and the Appalachians, met the kids coming from, uh, you know, 
down in the Delta, met right. that gospel. It marinated here in Memphis for a couple hundred years, right. and that's why it's such a broad mixture of music. That's why the musicians work so well together. Uh, but unfortunately, the money is so poor. Cool. It's how to do. Yes, y'all come to see me. Yes. Hey. How was school today? Yeah. <laughs> I see this and I see this. It's supposed to be this all the time. Y'all was ready to get out? Yes. And come see me? Yes. Hey. The money is so cool. Right. Because I totally agree. the one thing that's underappreciated is talent. Right. Uh, versus wealth. We're, we're, we're kind of fixated on generating wealth mm -hmm. and not really going back to the European model of uh, really supporting the arts. Right. People who do. It's all about money, wealth, and looks. I mean, I mean, whatever happened to raw natural talent? Nobody really look at that. They want to, you know, spiffy everything up and. You know, doctor and fix and this cosmetic stuff. And you, I, I'm an old school girl, and I'm, I'm gonna stay true to myself. Mm -hmm. I ain't feeling let nobody change that. And do you know why you're saying that? Because when you really appreciate music, what do you do? You close your eyes and get in with it. <laughs> All the feelings must way. come from within. Yes. Deep. Deep. <laughs> yes, right. does come deep from you, not, not only from your past, but where is your future? Where do you want this to take you? International. I'm going overseas. I'm taking this everywhere. I'm going to touch everybody. Just had a couple here from Italy. And, from, uh, yes. <laughs> was that not fabulous? Right. And they came here for the music. That and they said they've been going on a musical journey. They've just been going from like little states and cities, you know, on the musical the music is. Well, see, and yes. that's the one thing that we're going to teach these kids, these people. They have to have respect for the one thing that built this. People say that cotton built the South, not a talent no. built the South. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons. When they was picking cotton, what they was doing? Singing. Singing. <laughs> Old Negro spirituals. Uh, you hear me? And put it this way. To get through the day. The greatest <laughs> rock and roll singer. <laughs> You the you the middle child, I got the middle child, too. You know, you can make all the child, you know, child, get all the little tension. So you be asking out, so I be acting out and stuff. But it's okay. I see, in my world, I see unicorns and rainbows, what you see. <laughs> 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 so real. I don't know what you see in your world, because in my world, there's unicorns.